All right, guys, well, I'm back today with another tactical flashlight review or an EDC flashlight review. And you would be surprised how many contacts reach out to me to do reviews on their specific flashlights. And honestly, at this point, I try to turn most of them down unless I think there's something special. And this Sofern light is something special in my opinion. I've reviewed two of them in the past because these guys compete with some of the higher end $50 to $80 lights with some of the very same features but anywhere from the $20 to $40 price range. This particular light that we're looking at today, I will kind of show you the overview of the operations manual, is the Sofern SP32A, the V2. Now in particular, some cool things about this is it's got all the compliance stickers on the actual light itself, as well as the charger, because a lot of times I don't necessarily trust the chargers that comes with some of these lights. Now this one is a handheld light and you can see it's kind of size comparison, but it runs off an 18650 rechargeable battery that you can be pretty much find anywhere online, especially Amazon. So they're a dime a dozen now. It does not have a tail clicky. It's got a front clicky on here and I'll go through all of the modes. Before we talk about all those modes, I wanna talk about one of the main features that I wanna bring up about this light is the fact that it's actually waterproof up to two meters and has some shock resistance ratings in the manual, which we'll talk about in a second. But again, a light like this for the $30 price point right now with the coupon that you can click on Amazon, this originally runs about $36, which in my opinion seems to be worth it. But if you got the coupon, you might as well use it on Amazon. I'll add a link in the description below. But for that $30 price, you get, again, a light with a ton of features and the waterproof rating, which is nice if you decide to go camping, fishing, or hunting, and you accidentally drop it in the creek, or there's a heavy rain. I was actually sighting one of my night vision rifles in today, and it was raining, and there was puddles everywhere, and there was a bunch of just collected water in the back of the truck. I accidentally sat one of my other flashlights in there, not knowing if it was waterproof, and had to make sure it kind of stayed dry. I actually should have been carrying this because it would have been the perfect size, but you can see, it's 100% waterproof and nothing got in there. I will definitely confirm off camera and then touch base with you guys. So no water got in whatsoever. When you turn it on, it remembers the last mode you were at, then it can go back to the low mode. Now this is actually called the eco mode, which is five lumens at 260 hours. So a very nice for just in and around your nightstand or inside the car when you don't want to kill your night vision while maybe somebody else is driving or inside a tent, you don't want to wake everybody up. The next setting is low, which is 50 lumens for 26 hours and 30 minutes. And this one actually has a 32 meter throw, which is pretty cool. The next one is the mid range, which is 160 lumens for nine hours and 30 minutes. And the throw is 56 meters. Then you have the high, which is pretty bright, 500 lumens for three hours and 35 minutes. Then you have the turbo. Actually, you're gonna have to double click to get to that turbo. And the turbo is 1300 lumens. And that is a runtime of two hours and 30 minutes. And it's actually got a throw of 150 meters. And then a triple click gets you to the strobe, which is an interesting strobe. It cycles from a slow strobe to a fast strobe, which is kind of cool, especially if you get into distress and you want to signal somebody or set this on the outside of your card. And that is a thousand or 1,300 lumen strobe. So overall, a very nice set of features. Again, for a very high value price point, of that $30 on Amazon. I like the texturing, the clip, which is actually removable, removable, and the overall build quality of this light. This is definitely gonna be going in one of my new cars I just picked up because I feel like this is a small, nice, discreet light that you can easily throw inside your dash, but it has a ton of features, and for roadside assistance, whether it be a flat tire or an emergency, you can signal somebody or at least illuminate the area you're working on without worrying about it getting wet in the rain. So I hope you guys like this light. And again, I'll add all the information and links in the description below. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.